Nope. My favorite thing to watch on TV has pretty much always been the Food Network. After a long, stressful day, nothing is better than just sitting back and zoning out to some random lady telling you about how she makes her potatoes. It's not something you have to think about. Just movement on a screen, perfect for relaxing. But I can't bring myself to watch anything on the Food Network anymore. Not after what I saw. It started as a normal cooking show, almost like a Walmart brand Rachel Ray, called Cooking with Carolyn. This middle-aged, brown hair blue-eyed white lady was standing in a set kitchen detailing how to properly prepare quote authentic homemade stew i was flipping through various social medias on my phone catching every third word or so and carolyn was about halfway through making the stew just getting around to throwing everything together that's when stuff got weird. Carolyn chimed in with her middle-aged TV narrator voice, but it was laced with fear. And this is when all of you need to pay really close attention. I glanced up, a little put off by the sudden change in tone. I looked up to find her staring right into the camera. Now, it's not abnormal for Food Network hosts to look into the camera, especially when talking to the audience. But Caroline wasn't looking. She was staring. Her blue eyes wide. Her pupils dilated. Her smile stretching almost impossibly wide. It was almost like a funhouse mirror. Her smile stretched and wrapped the proportions of her face. It was incredibly forced. Her eyes were the biggest warning sign. They were bulging like they were about to pop out of their sockets, and they were shining with tears. Despite this fearful and frightening appearance, Caroline's voice never wavered. It was definitely tinged with fear but it never cracked, stuttered, or stopped. She went on. Now, all you audience members reach under your chairs and tell me what you find. There were a few moments of silence as the camera panned across the studio audience, rummaging under their chairs. They all raised their hands at once, the objects shining in the studio lights as everyone in the audience cried, A knife! That's right! Carolyn chirped as she held up her own sparkling blade. Now, I hope all of you remember what you need to do, she continued, and held the blade to her forearm. Follow your example! The audience yelled back, and all copied her movements. I sat in my chair, eyes glued to the screen, completely horrified but unable to look away. The terrified host continued to slide the blade down her arm, her blood dripping down her arm and into the pot. The audience did the same, cutting their arms and bleeding into cups they all had at their seats. Then, one by one, they filed by, emptying their blood cups into the pot, along with their host. I thought they were being forced to do this, but then I noticed each one of them had an impossibly wide smile. And every so often, the microphone would pick up someone whispering things like, It's finally time, and... Is he really coming? 
my mind raced to find any possible explanation of why this was happening. Was this some kind of comedy sketch? Was this even really happening? I found my answer soon, as the audience all joined hands in a circle around the pot, chanting in some language that I didn't understand. The chanting got louder and louder to the point where I had to cover my ears. I tried muting the TV, but the chants continued. Then suddenly, a giant clawed hand burst out of the pot, grabbing onto the rim like it was climbing out. The audience fell silent, watching as the hand began to flex pulling whatever it was attached to up out of whatever hell was in that pot. I was entranced. I couldn't pull my eyes away from the screen, even though every fiber of my brain was screaming to change the channel. Carolyn finally broke her gaze to look into the camera, somehow smiling even wider, and simply said, he is here. The screen snapped to static and pulled me out of whatever trance with it. I instantly shut off the TV, not knowing what to believe. After sitting in my chair for about half an hour, trying to slow down my racing heart, I did some research to see if I could find anything about Carolyn. I couldn't find a single thing. It wasn't even on the Food Network's list of shows. Carolyn wasn't on any list of chefs from restaurants. The actress who played her wasn't even coming up anywhere. I don't know if the show was even real. I don't know who Carolyn is. And I definitely don't know who he is. But I'm not really sure I want to. So, if you guys happen to stumble across a show called Cooking with Carolyn, I beg of you, don't watch it. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up! Sneak attack. Did you like that? Thumbs up. Subscribe. Notification bell. Share it with a friend. Shout out to the author of this story, Reddit user, you guys ready for this one? I did it, mom, I told a story. Yes, that's the username that you'll be looking for if you want to learn more about this author, link in the description. Sorry for the late upload, I am getting over one of the worst sicknesses of my life, and that's no exaggeration. But today I felt good enough where I thought I can probably squeeze one in before Tuesday was over. So here we are. Until next time, everybody, remember to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next video.